I am Lisa Von Dresen, curator of the Curlin Collection at the University of Minnesota Archives and Special Collections. And today at Read This Book, I have Megan Coker, and I am a science and evidence synthesis librarian on the St. Paul campus, and I am also curator of the Doris Kirshner Cookbook Collection. Well, I am really curious what book you want to talk about today. One book, two? Two. I have two books for the bakers in your life. So are you, my first question for you, Lisa, is are you a dessert person? I am a dessert person, but I am <laughs> not a baker. Well, my first my first pick is for those dessert people. And it's by a cookbook author, Claire Saffitz, who actually her first book was called Dessert Person. So my kind of person. Um, and this follows with that one, but it's called What's for Dessert. And um, mm. it's really fun. It is a very fun book. This photography is great, but it's really um, like if you can look at the style, it wow. does this sort of uh nod i think to 1970s cookbooks that sort of sets the tone yeah, it looks this very good movie. housekeeping <laughs> it looks very good housekeeping yes and what is one thing i love about this book is that it starts out if you can see there's a matrix here that plots all the recipes on skill needed versus time so you can find the most low skill okay low wait wait recipe. yeah i've got 20 minutes and i've got zero skill what do you got you can make a hot chocolate with marshmallows <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. but if you well, have i have i have you know that that when the neighbor kids come I, I bribe them with hot chocolates to do chores for me. So I'm I'm glad to know that I am exactly at my skill level. <laughs> you are. It's it's like it's a fancy hot chocolate though. It's the the like European style like pudding hot, hot chocolate. Cocoa, right? I can do that. Yeah. Now, um if now I want one more try here. I have 4 hours okay. and I am a great baker. Four I hours. want to know what, what I would hand somebody and say, could you make this for me? You are going to make them a marbled mint chocolate mousse. My goodness. Yeah. See, my problem I've noticed lately is every time I see a recipe, like there was a recipe for meringues. I thought I could do this. I thought, well, look, I got this out of the library. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you know this book? Mm -hmm. Cook what you have, make a meal out of almost anything. And I want to tell you, it's a big lie <laughs> because I wanted to make this meringue. I had all the ingredients in the house, this meringue cookie thing. Mm -hmm. And I the first loads of thing those, yeah. it told me to do was separate my eggs and put them in a stand mixer. Oh, that is the other thing about this book. Nothing in it requires a stand mixer. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have me sold on this book. What yes. else did you bring me? So the other one is for the more advanced or want to be advanced bakers in your life. And this is going to be a big one this holiday season. I think it's the, the King Arthur Baking Company Baking School cookbook. Um, love it. It's, you know, I'm never going to get to Vermont to attend their baking school <laughs> much as I would love to. But if you go through this, it takes you through each section and you learn like step by step and ends with a master class. So I um, started with the cookies section because that's my favorite. And I made the, I made just, you know, I just got these brand new book, but I did make their chocolate chip cookies over the weekend because I always like to sample that. And it's an oat chocolate chip cookie. And the lesson that it's teaching here is how to use different fats. So it's how to substitute, uh, um, develop a recipe using um, uh, coconut oil instead of butter. And so it taught about like how you um, you have to add water because there's water in butter, but there's not in oh. coconut oil and things like that. So like you learn the science and you learn why you're doing what you're doing and you learn all of these techniques and then like the cookie section ends with a masterclass on macaron um which i have tried 
I'm not great at, but I would try again with their, <laughs> their instruction. So this is really for those people who want to get the technique of everything right and and really learn and play in the kitchen and go through it as lessons. Um, it's really fun. Uh, and one thing I found out about in Minnesota moving here and about the holidays is people have a cookie exchange. Yes. Where you make a lot of cookies and then put them in little bags and then everybody that he gets an assortment by trading their cookies. Yes. Can you tell me what cookie you would bring to a cookie exchange? I picked it out. Yes. Oh. I From this book, I'm going to make the, oh, if I can find it. I didn't bookmark the page, but I know about where it is. Um, it's lime squiggles. Um, and there are a lime, like, here they are. The lime squiggles. <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's a butter cookie. It's a melt away cookie. So it uses like cornstarch. So it has that more like uh -huh. melty uh, consistency in your mouth and you can make them circles, but I like the, I like the, the fun of the squiggles and that's something that I, you don't see. Like, I think it'll be a little different addition to the holiday cookie plates. So that's the one I'm excited to make. Well, thank you for sharing those with mm -hmm. us today. And thank you for bringing these books to read this book. Thank you.